It's a question many families have to answer. If your child has a severe allergy, should the entire family be banned from eating that food? And joining me now is Dr Alison Kakakios from the Children's Hospital at Westmead in Sydney. Morning to you, Alison. Good morning. What do you think about this? Should we be banning foods from homes where only one member of the family is allergic? I think this is a difficult question actually and I think that it's one that each family has to resolve. It really depends on the situation. Uh, it depends on the age of the child who is actually allergic and at risk of a severe reaction and it also depends on the nature of the, the food allergy we're talking about here. Is it common for family members to be allergic to the same foods? Uh, it, it, yes, it is common. However, it's also common for one member of the family, say one child, to be allergic and not perhaps the next baby who comes along to be allergic. So th th there is this situation that arises quite frequently. It's very difficult for parents, isn't it? Now, yes, it is. There yeah. are some dietitians who are saying that, you, that family members shouldn't be avoiding foods because if you do so, you may develop an intolerance later in life. What do you think about that theory? Um, look, I... I think that, again, this is a very complex issue about whether you do or do not develop a food allergy and what actually makes that happen. Uh, I don't think there's any uh, evidence that if you um, perhaps are eating a food and then avoid it um, and you don't actually have an allergy to that food, there is no evidence that you will develop an allergy to that food later on. All right. Good advice for parents. Alison, thanks so much for coming in. We appreciate it. Thank you.